Welcome to Module 9.1, the Marine Sextant. A Marine Sextant can measure angles up to approximately 120 degrees. Originally, the term sextant was applied to the navigator's double reflecting altitude measuring instrument only if its arc was 60 degrees in length or one sixth of a circle, permitting measurements of angles from 0 degrees to 120 degrees. In the modern usage, the term is applied to all modern navigational altitude measuring instruments regardless of their angular range or principles of operation. The index mirror takes in the light of the celestial body and is reflected from this mirror down to the horizon mirror. The index filter is used to protect your eyes when observing the sun. The horizon mirror is a split view of a horizon and the mirror which reflects the light from the index mirror. The horizon filter protects your eyes from excessive light reflecting off the water. The arc scale is a graduated scale in one degree increments up to 120 degrees. The telescope is just that, a viewing device. The index arm is a movable arm that is used to move the index mirror so that you can align it with the body and the horizon. The frame is what everything is attached to. The releasing levers, it releases the index arm so as to slide along the arc scale. The vernier scale is a scale with graduations from 0 through 60 minutes of arc on a rotating drum and 0 through 10 on the fixed scale. The micrometer drum is rotated to fine tune your measurements up to 0 0.1 minute of arc or one tenth of a minute of arc. A represents the incoming light of the celestial body being reflected to B, the index mirror that is moved into position to receive the light of the celestial body which is sent to the C, the horizon mirror that shows both the horizon and the reflected light of the body to D, the telescope, where we make our observation. This is an animation of how we observe the sun through the sextant. You can see that looking through the horizon mirror that it is a split view and as you move the index on, the sun will come into view. You will set the lower part of the sun on the horizon, then rock your sextant to ensure perpendicularity. We read the index mark on the arc scales, which depict two ticks past 65 degrees to read 67 degrees. We move down to the micrometer drum to look at the zero line to read the mark slightly above 40, which is 40 minutes of arc. Then view those marks that line up on the Vernier scale, which should be six marks on to read 0.6 minutes of arc. This gives us a total height sighted of 67 degrees, 40.6 minutes. We next need to determine an index correction error. We set the index arm the micrometer drum on zero degrees. We observe the horizon usually with the filters off. If there is no index correction error then the horizon will appear as a straight line across both the horizon view and the mirror view. If when using the previous steps, and if the horizon does not line up, then turn the micrometer drum until it is in line. Then read the Vernier scale. The example shows plus 0 0.4 minutes. The saying goes, if on the arc, it is off. If it is off the arc, it is on. Since 0 0.4 is on the arc, then we will take it off, in other words, we will subtract it from the height cited. So let's take our earlier height cited, which was 67 degrees, 40.6 minutes. 
we will now apply the index correction error, which was minus 0.4 minutes. We'll apply the two numbers to get a corrected high sighted, which is 67 degrees, 40.2 minutes. This is how we use and read the information from a marine sextant. We wish to thank and acknowledge the following. The American Practical Navigator uh, from National Geos excuse me, which is from National Geospatial Agency, and Joachim Avers Gasper, who created the animation for the use of marine sections to measure the altitude of the sun.